Nine. Sometimes people decide about somebody ahead of time, the way you have with Grandpa, so they can't see the person the way they really are. Like in Huckfin, Mrs. Thornton says it's called prejudice. And 10, you're always telling me to think for myself. So I am, I want to get to know him. Those are all very compelling arguments. So can I meet him? I didn't say that, no. Uncle Nathan, he's the only grandpa I have. And he knew my mom longer than you did. Your mom was two years older than I was. But he might have stories about her. Stories that you don't remember. Allie, I don't want you to get hurt the way that we did. The difference is, I have you to watch out for me. Steaks for the kids, steaks for the adults, and the cafe is going to be handling all the salads and desserts. Sound good? We? Great. See you're throwing a party. I'd invite you, but I know how you disdain the company of reprobates such as myself. I came to see my father. You'll find him upstairs. Uh, third door on the left. Nathan, listen, whatever is going on between you and your father is between the two of you. Yes, that's right. But in my line of work, you get to know people, and your father is really struggling. I've seen it before. You had it right the first time. It's between me and him. Nathan! Hi. Listen, I, um... I wanted to come by and invite you to sit with Allie and me at the barbecue. Thank you, son. Guys, you won't be sorry. I swear it. Yeah, well, you know, she just wants to know more about Colleen, so... Well, I have plenty to say on that subject. <laughs> I'll see you there. Have you really quit? Because if I find out that you're just lying to me, then... I am really trying this time. I swear it.